2008 to 2014, I served as the United Nations independent expert on foreign debt and human rights. I visited Greece uh, from the 22nd to the 27th of April 2013 at the invitation of the government. And uh, the purpose of my visit was to assess uh, the austerity measures under the program, what impact they had uh, on the ability of the government to continue providing the quality services to the population. Now, on the very first day that I arrived, we met in the lobby of one of the hotels in, in Athens, and we noticed a very large crowd of people in the lobby, uh, including police. And uh, the hotel staff confirmed to us that uh, that morning, uh, a gentleman had booked a room in, in the hotel, on the sixth level of the hotel, he didn't spend much time there. Uh, shortly after booking uh, into the hotel, he jumped out you know, uh, the window of his hotel room. Essentially, he committed suicide because they found a note in which he indicated that uh, um, he, he couldn't take it anymore. Things were very, very difficult to, for him because of what was happening in, in his country. Greece is in violation uh, with its um, obligations in various areas linked to social security, linked to the right to work, linked to the right to a fair remuneration. And these uh, decisions were adopted uh, after Greece implemented uh, conditionalities imposed on Greece by the Memorandum of Understanding of 2010 and 2012. The difficulty that I faced both on this mission and in carrying out my mandate at the UN was that the European Union as a whole was very hostile to the mandate on foreign debt and human rights. They always voted against anything in resolution to do with the mandate. Uh, their reasoning was that it was a waste of money for the Human Rights Council to look at the issue of foreign debt as a human rights issue. Τι χιλιάδε ανθρώπινε ζωέ που χάθηκαν για να αποπληρωθεί το χρέο, από τα εκατομμύρια ανθρώπινε ζωέ που καταρακώθηκαν και εξαφλιώθηκαν, θέλω να θυμίσω σήμερα πέντε ανθρώπου από διαφορετικέ γενιέ. Το μικρό κορίτσι, κόρη μετανάστρια, μαθήτρια δημοτικού, που το Δεκέμβριο του 2013 έχασε τη ζωή του από αναθυμιάσεις μαγκαλιού σε ένα σπίτι χωρίς ρεύμα όπου ζούσε επί μήνες με τη μητέρα της. Το 19χρονο αγόρι που το καλοκαίρι του 2013 έχασε τη ζωή του προσπαθώντας να αποφύγει τον έλεγχο εισιτηρίου σε λεωφορείο. Τους δύο νέους, 20 και 21 ετών, σπουδαστές στη Λάρισα, που το Μάρτιο του 2013 πέθαναν κι αυτοί από αναθυμιάσεις μαγκαλιού. Και τέλος, τον Δημήτρη Χριστούλα, τον συνταξιούχο φαρμακοποιό, που σαν σήμερα, πριν από τρία ακριβώς χρόνια, έθεσε τέρμα στη ζωή του, μπροστά από τη Βουλή, αρνούμενος να καταρακωθεί η ύπαρξή του στο σημείο να αναζητεί την τροφή του τα σκουπίδια. The um, rules of international law provide that uh, where there is coercion exercised on the state, where the state had no choice but to accept the conditions imposed on that state, there is no consent. And so there is no um, valid agreement that is being, being concluded. Debt obligations have to be honored. But I do believe that we cannot insist uh, on the repayment of debt in circumstances where clearly the burden of doing so uh, undermines the capacity of the state to fulfill its primary obligations to its population. You must remember that the first duty of the state is towards its people.
If Greece had no choice but to accept what conditions were proposed, then this may be um, a, 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 an invalid agreement it has then concluded.